हेलो एवरीवन हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन एग्जांपल ऑफ काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड द डिटेल अबाउट काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट व्हाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ हाइपोथेसिस इट टेस्ट्स सो यू कैन वॉच द प्रीवियस लेक्चर द लिंक इज मेंशन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन गाइज डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल बिफोर डिस्कसिंग दिस क्वेश्चन definitely you are going to get informative information and you are going to get useful lectures in future as well right so let's start a clothing store claims that their sales are evenly distributed across different days of the week to investigate this claim a random sample of 200 sales transactions was selected and the number of sales on each day of the week was recorded the observed frequencies are as follows on monday 35 sales tuesday 40 wednesday 30 thursday 45 friday 25 and on saturday 15 and on sunday 10 conduct a chi square goodness of fit test to determine if the observed sales distribution differs significantly from the expected distribution so let's begin so we are going to Uh, do the solution step by step so let's see the solution step 1 is formulate the hypothesis so the null hypothesis is the observed sales distribution is consistent with the expected distribution and the alternative hypothesis is the observed sales distribution differs significantly from the expected distribution step 2 determine the expected distribution so you know that we are having seven days we are having seven monday to sunday so total days are seven and total sales are 200 sales transactions so expected distribution each day is 28.57 approximately right because we are having total seven sales transactions each day and total is 200 so approximately expected frequency each day each day expected frequency right expected frequency is 28.57 now step 3 is set up the observed and expected frequency table so in step 3 here are days here are observed frequency each day which is given in the question and here is expected frequency which we have calculated in step 2 now you know the basic formula of psi square test right that is observed frequency minus expected frequencies square and we need to divide it with expected frequency it is going to give us the psi square test freedom right so observed frequency is 35 expected frequency is 28.57 so what i need to do 35 minus 28.57 ka whole square divide by 28.57 plus 40 minus 28.57 ka whole square divided by 28.57 and for all these days i need to do and i need to sum up that is from monday to sunday all seven days so in step 4 we have calculated the psi square statistics right 35 minus 28.57 ka square divided by 28.57 this is for monday 40 minus 28.57 ka whole square divided by 28.57 this is for tuesday this is for wednesday this is for thursday right and uh, this is for uh, friday this is for saturday and this is for sunday right so after calculation of this we got this data in each day and we need to sum up them so the psi square approximately we are getting 26.26 now step 5 we need to determine the degree of freedom so degree of freedom is n minus 1 in goodness of a test degree of freedom is equal to number of categories minus 1 so total number of categories are 7 minus 1 that is 6 after that we need to determine the critical value basically critical value can be figure out with the help of a chart and uh, here you know that uh, the degree of freedom is 6 so degree of freedom i need to go to the 6 and here we are having the alpha significance level 0.5 so on chart this value you need to figure out 
in degree of freedom 6 and in front of that alpha is 0 0.5 so whatever value are here we need to take that so we are assuming that that value is uh, uh, right we are assuming that the critical value for 0 0.05 and freedom 6 is 12.59 from chart you need to take the help of chart from that right chart will be given to you using a chi square so determine the critical value now how critical value is going to be helpful for you it's going to be like that normally chi square graph like that so here it would be a critical value that is 12.59 now if you are having the chi square value on the left hand side this is called as accept tense of your hypothesis your hypothesis will be accepted and if you are having hypothesis on the right side of this critical value right so it would be rejected it would be rejected right so let's figure it out the calculated size uh, square value is 26.26 so basically if you are going to see on the chart the critical value is 12.59 and the size square value 26.26 it would be like somewhere here 26.26 it is on right side right so if it is found on right side this is the area of this is the reason of rejection it means that the hypothesis that has been made is not supported so since the calculated size square statistics exceed the critical value of the significant level of 0 0.05 we have evidence to suggest that the observed sales distribution differs significantly from the expected distribution. The clothing stores claim of an even distribution of sales across the days of the week is not supported by the data. However, if the value of size square would be lesser than 12.59, then we can say that it is supported by the data. Right? So this is how you can calculate the goodness or uh, goodness test, right? with the help of psi square. So this is a methodology for conducting a psi square goodness of fit test. This is how you need to determine step by step. First formulate the hypothesis, then determine the expected distribution, then set up the observed and expected frequency table, then calculate psi square statistics, then determine the degree of freedom, then determine the critical value, and then analyze the critical uh, the chi square value is on the left side or on the right side of the critical value if it is on left side your hypothesis would be supported by the data if it is on the right side definitely it is not supported by the data this is chi square test this is the example i hope it is clear if you are having any doubt confusion queries please feel free to ask in the comment section have a very nice day jai hind jai bharat